This is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect. And we're with Blake Rain, who is the lead actor in The Identical. And you play The Identical. I play The Identical, and I play The Identical's twin brother. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm double, double dipping, I guess. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, a pretty big deal because you've never acted before. Yeah, this is my debut as an actor and, and obviously the first movie I've been in. So uh, what an experience your first time around. <laughs> and they give you a dual role too. Right. So, um, But your background is music. This is a musical. And I understand they were looking for someone that was uh, a musician that could, be, that could become an actor. And they sent you to acting school. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, as a musician, as an entertainer, uh, you, you have certain things that probably help you out as an actor. But uh, they sent me out to California. Um, D.W. Brown is a, an amazing acting coach, and what a difference it made, you know. And, and looking back, I'm so thankful to have had that experience because um, I didn't know probably what I was getting into, and uh, it became clear on the very first day that the training that I got was just impeccable. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I do say that as as a um, an artist, you know, a, a singer. You do act when you're on stage, so I'm sure you were able to kind of pull from some of your performing experience too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think as an entertainer, you, you kind of take on a, a different almost personality. You're a, a different persona, you know, your your stage persona, mm -hmm. and it's like acting like a character in so many ways. So it certainly, you know, translates over to acting. Yeah, of course, all the lives is all all the world's a stage anyway. So so we all act. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, well, tell us a little bit about your char your character, your your characters, uh, and and how you how you related to them as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, the movie starts out with identical twins being born. Uh, the family that they were born to, very very uh, difficult times, the Great Depression and whatnot. But they were only able to keep one. They gave the other one to a pastor. Mm -hmm. And he was adopted and raised by this pastor, this pre preacher played by Ray Liotta. Um, so you have very, very different upbringings, despite the fact that they're twins. And it's amazing. One becomes a, 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 a rock star, basically. And the other one has music in his heart, but a father who wants him to enter into the ministry. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different little things that so many fathers and sons certainly could relate to, family family things that we've all experienced, you know, mm -hmm. I certainly have. And there's a lot of, uh, in my own life, a lot of parallels, um, especially with the music business and, and different things that have happened, uh, made playing the role actually pretty, pretty close to home. Yeah, yeah. Was it hard to transition from one character to the other? No, and there was a day, I remember a day where um, I played both. It was, there's a scene where you know both are kind of in the scene and um so i'm switching from one to the other and <laughs> makeup and hair and everything's different um but you know so much of the the work of acting is you know preparing for it and knowing who your character is and so there was a lot of different things that i just made sure that were in my head before you enter into the scene and you know just different ways of sitting even um and i, I think it'll translate so uh, this is a period piece, and um, the music that, that you sing is, you know, more like from the 50s, and, you know, it, you're very uh, Elvis-like. Uh, is this the kind of music you're used to, or was this a little bit of a, a challenge for you, for this kind of music? Well, it, it's interesting because um, the music spans over 30 years, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, so there's definitely a morphing of the music, as well as a morphing of the, the rock star character who maybe early on has that rockabilly look but by the end of it you know long hair it's almost like a Jimi Hendrix you know yeah um, kind of a feel and and also in the music so that was great and I love music I love all kinds of music so I enjoyed that um, even though the music I write isn't necessarily you know that um, it was cool to just kind of get so immersed into the part and the era because it is a period piece you know mm -hmm. and the 50s felt like the 50s because of the music mm -hmm. and the 60s felt like the 60s because of the music you know and this this story is a great story but the music as an underlying undertone throughout the entire 
film is, is really helps give it that you know that feel of the period yeah and i mean they did a great job with hair and makeup and costumes and all that and i mean they had to you know give you the hair for each one of those eras as well so uh what did you have to go through with the, with all the hair and makeup stuff <laughs> yeah there was there was like four wigs um and uh at some point i have a beard uh and a mustache and that was always i after the first time they put it on me, I marked on the schedule every day I had to put that on because it was just miserable and it would itch. And for some reason, like if I talked too much, the mustache would pop off, you know, and, and uh, there was a scene where I actually, yeah, there was a scene where I actually broke down and was crying and, and a very emotional scene. And as I am just there, you know, pouring out my soul and, and bawling, my mustache pops off. <laughs> so it turns into comedy. <laughs> well, it, and it was it was one of those takes where I knew in my heart that I, I was I was doing it right. It felt good that they let the scene run probably for 35 seconds, you know, which is a long time. But as soon as I felt it pop off, and you might see it in the movie, my hand comes up like this because I didn't want the take to be, you know, not able to use yeah. because my mustache popped off so I'm holding it on like this it's kind of funny okay, so you so you save that scene that's good and that, that's what they say in, in, in show business is you know keep on going no matter what happens yeah. <laughs> it, it was an interesting and it was you know we shot this maybe the third day so my third day as an actor you know to have in your mind I'm crying I'm bawling my eyes out my mustache just popped off save it uh, uh, now I, I can't stop crying <laughs> what a distraction <laughs> it was an interesting day yeah yeah so um so um do you think you're going to be doing more acting after this and you like it oh I love it and um hopefully you know uh this will certainly um in some way shape or form open some other doors and uh, I'm excited about that um you know, I've been in the music business for so long. That's what I know and what I'm comfortable with. And I'll always be in music. I, I just love music. But that being said, um, man, it's just like opening, you know, a secret <laughs> closet that you never knew existed. And uh, it's so, it's so rewarding. Um, what an amazing time. I mean, the people you meet and, and it's awesome because I don't really, you know, I'm, I'm new. So I get every day I get to be around professionals and learn. And I love that, you know, uh, working with Ray Liotta, working with Aaron Cottrell, Ashley Judd, Seth Green, all these people. And it's like, wow, I couldn't be in a better place. And, and how did this even happen? Like, how did they find you? <laughs> I was at a, I was at a uh, recording studio here in Nashville. And uh, just so happens that the executive producer of the movie walked in one day and we met and we hit it off and he, uh, one day said, hey, I'd like to meet up with you. And so we met up and he started telling me about this story. And and I thought at first, like maybe he was talking about music or something he'd be interested in, you know, and he said, I can see you playing this role. And I said, well, okay, tell me more. And uh, that was about probably two and a half years ago. So I'd been living with this for a while. Um, and it's so exciting to see it finally come in to fruition and you know we got a release date now of October middle of October so it's exciting okay, and gonna be in theaters yes. Okay. yes very good and how can people find out more about the movie very simple everyone's online now so <laughs> it's uh, the identical movie.com and the trailers there interviews uh, everything about the movie and it's gonna continue to update as we get closer to the release date Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us enjoyed meeting you and we're looking forward to that film coming out in theaters you're watching Christian Movie Connect.